Hi my name is Mark, welcome back to the shop and today we're talking about dry sump engines and for the focus of this I will talk about Ducatis mainly. Now there are loads of bikes that have used dry sumps but generally it's Ducati that seem to want to go that way and for good reason. Um, there are quite a few Ducatis out there that have belts um, for their valve train um, operation other than uh, rather than chains. You know, so they have a belt and pulley system. Um, they'll use a dry clutch, um, a dry clutch setup. So because now you've got rid of your belt and your chain, and now because you've got rid of your your clutch requiring to have oil and all the rest of it, then it means that the oil required in your engine is generally lower as well. Um, which also means that they can do some quite sexy things. So the um, what they tend to do, the is have a dry sump system and because they have their L engines which is a V8 just laid on its back um, what they want to do is they want to reduce the height of um, a, these V-twins and uh, because they want to reduce the height of it they don't want some whacking great big um, horn and oil sump that I've shown you in a previous video you know they want basically quite good ground clearance so you can flop it around they want to the engine is the heavier part you've got to remember that the sump is pretty much just an empty pan with a you know a pickup tube and maybe a pump sat down here and this is lightweight but this increases the height of the engine because you don't want this scraping the floor which means your center of mass for your engine which is pretty much just say about there, there's your crank centre, it's going to be a bit off that because of your cylinder heads. Um, your centre of mass is now a lot higher than it needs to be and they're like, oh fucking hell, if we could just get rid of all this here, then we can lower our centre of mass which gives the bike a lot more stability um, and oh, obviously that's what you want. So, now that they want to do this, what they do is they have a little sump and then they have a scavenging pump and basically any of the oil that returns from the heads any of the oil and this is one clever thing that Ducati did do is gravity is pulling the oil this way and the acceleration of the bike is basically applying a force this way because of the resistance of the fluid to want to move its inertial resistance so your net force is basically your oil goes this way and you'll find that a lot of your return lines and all the rest of it for your oil, your return passages with inside your engine for a Ducati on the up cylinder, so we'll call this the up cylinder, um, are towards the back, that's because as you accelerate all the oils tips to the back and then ends up making its way down. For this cylinder, gravity is wanting to make it go this way but it is sat on the bottom and then your acceleration is one are going to push it that way so the net result of that is it wants to kind of go this way but because the cylinder just like this you're crossing your cylinder boundary you're crossing your engine boundary so the oil gets forced this way and starts to go back all this forces this way and goes back this way and one of the reasons this is one of the reasons why they slightly tip the engine you know they don't have it's not a 90 degree with this horizontal they'll have an L with a 90 degree, just say 10 degrees from the horizontal like that, just to help aid this oil actually make its way and not pool in the head or anything like that. But they have a scavenging pump, and basically when the oil makes its way here, you have an oil bottle, we'll get rid of these bloody graphs, angles, sorry. They have an, um, an oil reservoir somewhere in the bike, usually towards the tail end and stuff like that, just to try and move, shift some of the weight over the rear wheel because the rear wheel is the powered wheel and um, traction grip is all about the coefficient of friction of your tyre versus the force that's applied to the top of it. So you can have an oil line that goes up here and basically you're just shifting some of your weight from here up to here. It has to go somewhere. You wouldn't want to put your oil up here somewhere because this is going to shift your centre of mass and that was the whole point of doing this where if you put your oil and all your um, cooling reservoirs and all the rest of it, all this does is it shifts your centre of mass just a bit back because there's not that much weight in here 
you know, but it does shift it towards the rear wheel, which is exactly what you want. So that's a dry sump system, and then basically there's an oil pump in here, which is kind of like your regular pump that then draws oil from your reservoir. Sometimes they do require to have a little extra um, small electric pump, to, like a precharger, to then send oil to the pump here. Um, there is loads of different locations where you can stick this oil reservoir and so on and so forth, but these are the main reasons why Ducati um, use a dry sump system. There's less oil in the system because both the um, clutch, if you've got a dry clutch system, and a belt, a uh, belt powered head system, valve train system, sorry should I say, because you're usually using a belt half the time, then they don't need the same, they don't need the, you know, the volume of oil that every other bike that doesn't have a dry sump system requires. Uh, the other problem is, the other thing is as well, is it also helps with wheeling. Because <laughs> that's important. Um, I hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.